I want to speak about what I refer to as the business boogeyman. We all know that thing that plagues so many wannabe entrepreneurs and just people in general who want to do better with their lives. I'm talking about that thing that has us overanalyzing, overthinking, and ultimately doubting our own ability to do something great. That four letter F word that we all know, fear. F-E-A-R, fear. your dreams faster than a bullet. I think back to my own journey to becoming a public speaker and how in my head I created this business boogeyman of Sean, once you put your videos out there, you're opening yourself up to trolls and critics and people leaving bad comments and comparing you against all the more established speakers out there. And finally, I was just like, you know what? Screw fear, I'm gonna do it anyway. And when I started to release my videos, the complete opposite happened. People were hitting me with comments that really supported and motivated me. Sean, I loved your last video. Sean, keep it going. Sean, you gave me the motivation to start my own business. Sean, I love the way you speak to us because you speak like us. Everything that I built up in my own head, it was just a figment of my own imagination. So if you find yourself so scared to get out of the starting gate, here are a few things that work for me that I hope work for you to help you overcome fear. Number one, simple as it sounds, just get started. Just get started. As long as you are sitting on your, your big idea and it's in here, it's no more than that. It's an idea. But once you get started, it becomes real. It is now physical. It is tangible. It has gone from thought or idea or concept to something that's real. And once it's real, you can build on it. But the main thing is to get started. Started. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks or has to say. You have to start and start to build on your idea. And from that, it will give you the encouragement and the motivation to keep going. But you have to get started. Number two, this is elementary, but it works. Create a to-do list and live by it. Like most of us, we have these big, ginormous ideas. And sometimes we can compare our little selves against this big idea. But you have to break it down into bite-sized pieces, into pieces that are more palatable and manageable. It's kind of like if tomorrow you decided to run a marathon. You don't wake up the next day and run 26.2 miles. No, you get on the treadmill, you hit the track, and you run as much as you can run. Maybe it's half a lap, maybe it's two laps, and you work your way up to a mile, two miles, so forth and so on. And one day, you will be ready to run 26.2 miles. And it's no different. Yes, you start out with that big idea, but you have to break it down into smaller pieces that you can handle. And every day, you cross these things off the list and you add to them. And before long, you look up and you're like, oh my God, I have a real functional business. Number three, and we've all heard this before, stop telling your big ideas to small-minded people. Stop it. Telling your big ideas to people who have never taken risks, people who have never done anything outside of their comfort zone, you give them the ability to project their fears and project their doubts on you and they will kill your idea before you ever even get it off the ground. You have to keep your circle small. You have to speak to people who believe in you, who believe in you more than they believe in your idea because these people, they know you and they trust you and they believe so much in, you know, this person, when he or she says that they're gonna do something, they actually do it. And that's the motivation that you're gonna need to really get things going because, you know, in the beginning, it's difficult. Nobody sees the finished product but you. It's in your head. So you need people who are gonna put that battery in your back and motivate you right out the gate. Advice number four, I don't care 
who you idolize. I don't care who your mentors are. I don't care whoever has done something great in this world. Please understand, they are only human. Just like you, just like me. Sometimes we have this thing where we put people up on a pedestal and we make them into, you know, this superhuman and they have more abilities than you and I. And they don't. The only thing different is they actually went after their dreams and they didn't stop. So you have to stop putting these people up on these pedestals and thinking that they possess something that you don't. They don't. They're just human beings, just like you. They put on their pants one leg at a time. And my last piece of advice would, would be to work on your idea every day. Every day, you have to become obsessed with it. You have to become one with your idea and your idea has to become one with you. I always say success is about repetition. The more you do it, the more you do it, number one, it's just not scary anymore. And number two, you become better at it. So whatever it is that you wanna do or whatever it is that you're working on, do it all day, every day, because one day you're just going to become the best at it and, you know, it's going to grow from there. I hope this bit of advice helps you guys to at least take the very first step and kick fear to the curb towards your ideas. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.